Darren Pittman making it two in a row here at Dodge City. <laughs> you had a close call right at the end. Looks like you about hit the infield tire trying to get around that lap car. What happened right at the end? Yeah, it was just a lap car. You know, when it gets rubber like that, uh, you know, I mean, they're just, you know, they're in the groove. And, and, you know, the worst thing you can do as a leader is move out of the groove and, and, and give up the race. So I was pretty committed to just staying on the bottom and trying to make him bobble at least enough that I could get my nose underneath him, and it just wasn't going to happen. And uh, finally I felt some pressure in three and four and figured, man, i got to push this pretty hard. I, I thought somebody was coming. I knew our pace had really slowed down a lot, obviously, just trying to get to the end with tires. So, uh uh, just luckily, he opened up the door just enough I could get by him on the front stretch, and uh, I thought that might be enough just to get us to the end as long as the tires held up, and uh, uh, luckily it was. So, uh, I don't know. I kind of love Dodge City. This place has been really good to me, so uh, we can come back here as many times as they can put it on the schedule. It's fine with me. Win number nine on the year. You now lead in World of Outlaws wins. How does that feel for you and your team? Well, it feels good, but uh, it means nothing uh, come November if uh, we're not at the top of the charts on the points. So, uh, you know, obviously uh, we didn't win the most races last year. That was something we knew we needed to improve on, and uh, we've got off to a good start. We've already won more than we did last year, and this is only the halfway mark. So, uh, Kale and uh, Col Colton and Carver, they just do a great job and just keep digging. And uh, I just go out there and uh, try to do the best I can, and, and luckily we've, we've had a good car all year, um, and uh, we've got nine wins. So, hopefully... Uh, this is halfway. If we can get to 18 at the end of the year, uh, we'll definitely be in the hunt for that championship again, and uh, that's our main goal. One thing I've noticed is that you win a lot when your whole family's here. I think they're going to have to start coming to a lot of these races. <laughs> yeah, you, you, uh, you might be on to something there, that's for sure. So, uh, yeah, it's just a lot of fun, obviously. We, we like to win any race we can, but when it's close to Oklahoma and, and uh, where I'm from and, and a lot of our friends and family are able to come, it uh, just makes it that much more special. So uh, i got to thank Great Clips, uh, Curb Records, uh, Sage Fruit, uh, Team ASC, uh, SurePoint, just all the sponsors that uh, you know are on this car that uh, make this happen for us, and uh, my guys, Casey Kane, and uh, just the crew, they, uh, and all three teams. I mean, they all three, we all work really well together and uh, work our tails off. So uh, just for, thanks to those guys. Uh, without the, them, I, I couldn't be able to do what I do. Well, congratulations to Darren Pittman on win number two this weekend to his whole Great Clips crew and his family here tonight. Right. Carrie, you had the lead until that last restart. You chose the bottom. Darren got the jump on you at the top. Obviously, you thought the bottom was the way to go. Clearly was not. I think the bottom was the way to go. I just uh, had a little issue. So uh, it was a good run, an awesome run. Um, Obviously, if we're going nonstop, we might have had a good chance, but you know, I had to. I guess we all were doing it. Just once that groove got in, really had to play conservatively, and when it was time to attack, try to attack. And uh, you know, it definitely wasn't the wrong lane choice. Just uh, didn't happen for us, and uh, got beat on the start. But that's you know, that's sprint car racing, and uh, it was a great result for us anyway. And I really want to thank our sponsors, American Racing Custom Wheel, and Desert Marriott Earthex, and especially a uh, big hello to. Uh, Pete Gavinich and Bob Gavinich, and Pete will be with us next week, so hopefully we can go one step up the podium. Third place last night, second place tonight. Track was very similar with no no passing. When Darren got the jump on you, did you think you were going to have a chance to pass him back? Not really. Um, we probably went with the softest option on tyres, so to be honest, I thought, hey, I just got to do my best to finish because I've not been the greatest of that lately and blown him a couple of times, so uh, just wanted to finish. But, um, I, you know, last night was a good track. I could attack all the way, and tonight, we, you know, we had uh, good racing all night. Um, you know, we, we started in the second row and uh, got a really good start and raced Joey and raced David and uh, it, was a good, it, was, it was good, you know. We're obviously disappointed that we didn't get the W, but uh, so be it. We have 21 top fives on the season. Kerry Madsen second here tonight at oh. Dodge City. David, you started on the pole for tonight's race. Unfortunately lost it on the initial start. We again saw a racetrack that was kind of hard to pass on. Did you think you were going to be able to make a move early on? Uh, you know, I, I led the first two laps, and then, uh, you know, the second restart there, uh, Darren and uh, Kerry were definitely more aggressive and got by me, but uh, early in the race, uh, we really stood up, and I couldn't really enter the corner too hard, which kind of hurt me there, but, you know, to finish third, we uh, finished terrible last night, so it's a good rebound night. Uh, obviously, when you start on the pole, you don't want to finish third, but, you know, I got to thank Dennis Roth, uh, everybody on this crew, uh, you know, Brandon, Scotty, you know, Troy, everybody, so... You know, it, it's a good run to go into Brad Doty Classic and uh, Kings Royal, so I'm a little upset, but, uh, you know, can't complain with third. Having a new crew chief, you've been working with Scotty for some time now. How is everything meshing well? You guys kind of having to start with a little bit of a new notebook. 
yeah, you know, our first three races were real well. Uh, it seems like if we're good in qualifying, we struggle racing a little bit. So if we could get everything figured out, it would be really, really good uh, before we struggle qualifying. But we got that figured out now. And as long as we race a little bit better, I think we'll be uh, really good for us this season. Well, it seems like everything's coming together. Tonight's third-place finisher here at Dodge City Raceway Park, David Gravel. Back up to you, Johnny.